G'day everyone, this is another requested video. With trout opening only in a couple of days time, I reckon this week alone I've had no less than 50 or 60 people ask me if I can make a video about what fishing lures that I'm taking on trout opening weekend. So today, I've brought my bag out with me. This is the fishing bag that I take trout fishing. It's got everything in it that I'm gonna be taking and I'm gonna run through each and every one of these things and just show you what I'm taking with me. How cool is this? That's a zebra finch. And that's a blue superb fairy wren or a blue wren. Awesome. Rightio, now here's my bag. This is the bag that I'm taking. I've been taking these hemp bags for a lot of years. Sometimes I think I should get something better with pockets for my mobile phone and my camera and stuff, but I just like these. They're cheap and easy and they can carry a fair bit of stuff. Now, the only thing I haven't got in here is the, the non-fishing stuff. I haven't got my camera or a knife or my asthma puffer or anything like that in here. Although that is not far away. <laughs> Being an asthmatic, it's always pretty close by. But anyhow, what am I taking trout opening? First thing I've got is this. This container has, I've got a Strike Tiger Yabby Oil Lure Scent and a Strike Tiger Trout Oil Lure Scent. Whether I use the lure scent or not will be determined by whether the fish are biting. If the fishing's slow and they're reluctant to take a lure, I will absolutely be putting lure scent on my soft plastics. But if they're hitting them and hooking up regardless, then I won't need to use it. I've got some split shot sinkers in here. Wayne Gardner, who I'm fishing with on Saturday morning, Straubs. Straubs just loves these plastic containers. He reckons it is so easy to get the soft, to get the jig head, the uh, split shot sinkers out of. Give me a look. Having difficulties, are we, Wayne? Not really, I'll use me, uh... <laughs> Just get me some, you feel? No, no swearing. No break. No! <laughs> yeah, there's one bit gone. No! <laughs> you got to hold it up like that, right? Now, wait, wait, wait. Turn that around. Yeah. I'll Tip see. it upside down until the split shot falls into the hole. Well, and that's, look. That's ridiculous. Now I've also got in here a heap of uh, Strike Tiger jig heads of varying sizes from uh, 1 16th of an ounce here, 1 32 of an ounce, 132 with a bigger hook, yeah just plenty to choose from and down the bottom of this is a whole assortment of small hooks. Now I don't know what brand they are, there's a heap of different brands mixed up in there. I don't use hooks like this for this sort of fishing by brand or anything, I'll just pull one out and I'll say I like the look of that, it's a small hook, it's got a bait holder, it's about the right size which is similar size to my thumbnail and that'll do. So I've got a heap of hooks, all my jig heads, some split shot and some lure scent in that container. What else we got here? I'll go through the jig, I've got a heap of Strike Tiger soft plastics, I'll go through these. Now you'll think this is a bit excessive, I know I'm not going to use all of these on trout I think, but I'll quickly run through each one and while I've chosen it. Mint Jelly in the Strike Tiger Nymph. From the Strike Tiger range, the Nymph is my absolute favourite of the lot. There's some, the 2 inch grubby is great, the Hog, the Bug is a good lure, but the Nymph is my favourite for trout. Mint Jelly has caught fish for me early in the season in the past, so I've thrown that in. The Lumo, which is, I think it's a glow in the dark one, I've taken that because I find that colour can work well on trout and redfin, and sometimes I get distracted and I want to fish for redfin if I happen to be going past Lake Buffalo or Lake William Hovel, or just the creeks, some of the creeks have got redfin in them, I like to have a redfin colour in the mix. This is a new one from Strike Tiger, this is the Banana Split, I call it Leech because it reminds me of a tiger leech, it's black and gold, the one inch nymph in Banana Split, yellow on the bottom, black on the top, haven't used it yet but I'm really looking forward to giving that a crack. This is also a new one from Strike Tiger. That is the Atomic Lime. So I've got the one inch nymph here in Atomic Lime. The reason I've put this particular colour in is because if we get a bit of rain and the creek get, uh, the water dirties up a little bit, I want a bright colour that'll stand out in the dirty water. Banana Shock is not a new colour by Strike Tiger, but it's new in the nymph range. It was always in the three inch curl tail grub, and now we've got it in the uh, in the one inch nymph with a few black, black flecks through it. So 
I'm putting that in just in case I want to try something different. The white bait pearl is my absolute favourite redfin colour. I have that in once again in case I decide to go redfin fishing somewhere. I put the pumpkin seed in because I was talking to Mick from Strike Tiger the other day and he was telling me they've been doing really well in Tasmania lately on the pumpkin seed colour nymph and, and bug. So I've put the, uh, the pumpkin seed in. I've got an olive pepper one inch froglet. I've done really well on these froglets on trout in small streams just because there are little frogs around the waterways and that nice olive pepper colour is a natural colour and I just think that's a good lure for trout. I've put the two inch bug in pumpkin seed in once again because Mick told me that this is exactly what they've been catching a lot of trout on in Tasmania so far this season. So the two inch bug in pumpkin seed, that gets a swim. The one inch Strike Tiger one inch nymph in black and gold colour. I wouldn't go anywhere without that, not, not trout fishing anyway. I'm happy to leave it home and I go redfin fishing, but when I'm going trout fishing, that is the first one I put in every time. That is, that is my absolute favourite. For anybody wondering what's my favourite colour, soft plastic for trout fishing, it's the black and gold, and the favourite lure is the Strike Tiger nymph. Absolute number one for me. I've got the bubble gum colour in, just in case I decide to go chasing redfin. I've caught trout on that colour. Bright colours do work for trout, but I prefer natural for trout if I can get away with it. Lava line nymph, just a nice natural colour. I could replicate a mud eye or a small yabby or something similar, so I've put that in. Uh, homebrew, this is an old packet. I've had this for a while. I've put that in, just, it's a, uh, just a nice natural colour. Orange spawn, that works really well on trout in the autumn, but once again, I've put that in just in case I go past the redfin. And this is the June bug colour curl tar grub. I like red colours early in the year, some years. This been, if there's been a bit of rain and there's a few worms in the system, I don't know whether that's sort of linked or whether it's a coincidence, but I've done well on the copper berry as well, which is a similar colour. So they're the colours that I'm putting in in my Strike Tiger plastics, and that's the reasons why I'm choosing them. Now, without wasting any time, let's get to the lures, the lures. Right, in the top of this container, there are a heap of bladed spinners in here. I have a Salter. I think this Salter was sent to me by Nick Ryko to my mail time section last year. G'day Nick, if you happen to be watching, he's a great kid, Nick Ryko. This is a FTL lures, twin, a twin bladed spinner from FTL lures, or FTL spinners. I think it's FTL lures in New South Wales. I'll see if I can find their uh, Facebook page or Instagram page and share a screenshot. But anyway, that's from FTL lures. That's a, uh, I'm not sure where I got that one. I think I might have got that off Kenny Hickman, the late Kenny Hickman. He passed away a couple of years ago. He owned a tackle store in Wayne. I think he might have given me that one. I've got uh, another FTL offset spinner there. I've got uh, the Super Vibrax in number two. That is one of my all-time favourite bladed spinners. It's great for redfin and trout. And the number two size, being a bigger, bit bigger, will cast a long way. I catch a lot of redfin and trout on them. They're a dynamite lure. This is a Malewa lure. I caught a few trout in this last year. I've got a few of these. That was sent to me by Malewa lures last year to my mail time segment. I'll just try and speed this up a bit. That's a cheap $5 spinner that I bought at a service station in Bright. Just with a nice orange blade. I've got a... Uh, a Vibrick rooster tail here with the offset blade. I've got a rooster tail. Have a look at this rooster tail. <laughs> All the paint's gone, the shaft is bent. But I tell you what, if I put that on an opening, I reckon I'll catch a fish on it. The Warden's rooster tail is just an amazing trout spinner. Probably the best on the market. That and the Super Vibrax are my favourite. So even though it's old and battered and I don't need to bring it because I've got plenty of others, I just couldn't go trout fishing without a rooster tail. They're awesome. But anyway, you get the idea. I won't go through the rest of them. There's, a, there's I can see one, two, three, four super vibraxes in there, and another Malewa lure. So I've, that that uh, corner of the tackle box has been set aside for bladed spinners, which I probably might be able to fit back in here right now. But I'm going to try. This tackle box, I can't even remember where I got it. I've got a funny feeling. I won it in a competition or something years ago. I've been using it for years. Now, over this corner of the tackle box, these also come from FTL lures. These are a little grasshopper pattern minnow. Well, I call it a minnow because that's the design of the lure. So it's a little hard body minnow, but it's actually not a minnow, it's a grasshopper. These also come from FTL lures and they actually swim very, very well. I didn't use them as much as I was going to last year, but I, uh, but I think they're quite a good lure. They do tangle a little bit when you cast, but they've got a little rattle, I think. They've got a little rattle. They're quite inexpensive to buy and they will work very well. So I've got a couple of them in just in case I want them. I've got a few Strike Tiger 
micro spoons. You've seen me use these in the past. I've made videos about micro spoons by Strike Tiger. They've always worked very well. I've had a lot of luck with them. They're a lot of fun to use, particularly when the water's low in the really small waterways. Up in, the, up in this corner, I've got a couple of wild bait minnows. I could not go trout fishing without my wild bait minnows. I love the nice natural colour of the wild bait, wild bait minnows. I just think they're a fantastic lure. So I've got a couple of them in. I've caught stacks of trout in the wild bait minnows. This is a little Zerek minnow. I've got this in because I like the bright colours if the water happens to be dirty. I've got this other Zerek minnow, nice metallic colour, bright as well. Once again, just in case the water's dirty so that it can uh, be nice and bright. I've got, this is a Pontoon 21 Crackjack 38, I think this is. The Pontoon 21 Crackjacks are an amazing lure. They're a bit more expensive, but they cast very, very well, and trout just absolutely love them. Pontoon lures in general are very, very good. So that's what I've got in the top half of this box. Now, if I turn this over to the other side, let's have a look and see what I've got here. Basically, I've got a heap of jig heads in this side. I know I've got heaps of jig heads in here. They're unopened jig heads, but these are the ones I've used. And I've, I can use them any time. They look a little bit shiny, and that's because I had a mishap with one of the trout oils in here a while back, and it went through the tackle box and made everything smell like Strike Tiger trout oil. But that's not a bad thing. Because it's an oil base, it'll stop it from, it'll help prevent it rusting, while also helping it uh, smell, um, smell really strong, which will entice the fish to strike it. So having those shiny and in, uh, inadvertently coated in a little bit of lure scent, well, that's a good thing. So you've got some heaps of spare jig heads, jig heads there. I've got these uh, jiggle fishing vibes and blade and a blade here that came to my mail time segment section. I'm unlikely to use them on opening, but I've got them there if I decide I want to try. And I've also got them there if I decide I want to stop at a lake and chase a redfin or something. So I've got them in there and another little, I think it's a Zerek. I, I think this is a Zerek um, lipless crankbait. And then the reason I say that is because it's got a Z in the eye. But anyway, whatever it is, it looks really cool. So they're probably not going to get used on trout opening, but I like to keep them there just because I often just put this in my bag, take it out, I don't change it around a lot, and sometimes I go redfin fishing and take the same equipment, so I leave them there for that purpose. I've got another wild bait minnow over this side. I've put that in there just because I like wild bait, they're a great lure. I love the natural colours, and that one's just fallen on the floor, or the ground, whatever you want to call it. I've put this wild bait minnow in, that's a bigger one. Just in case I get to a stream, I see a big fish, and I want to entice that big fish to uh, hit a lure out of aggression. So I always like to carry a bigger lure in, just in case I get to a bigger bit of water or a bigger hole but that I think might hold a big fish, or I might even have a big fish follow my lure. So I like a big lure for the, to have one on standby at all times. And I've also got this bright pink uh, Zerek. This is a Zerek Tango Shad, I think. Zerek... I get so confused, there's so many different lures. It's a Zerek something, a Zerek something shad. Um, bright pink and a little bit bigger, I chose that for the same reasons as the other bright colours, just in case it rains. Anyway folks, that is the stuff that I'm taking fishing with me on trout opening. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've uh, got some information out of this video. If you like this video, why not consider subscribing to my channel and give me a thumbs up and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.